Taurus, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name's Jen Dawson, welcome to Jen TV. All right, Taurus, uh, this week for everyone, I'm doing a timeless reading. I'm not going to meditate on it. I actually have been meditating all day. And uh, fell asleep during my meditation. And um, yeah, it came to me that... This is just timeless, because time doesn't exist. Time means nothing. It's just something immeasurable that we've managed to measure. Which is immeasurable, so that's crazy. So, Taurus, what's your timeless reading? What does Taurus need to know right now? Bear in mind, my loves, these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you, but if it does... Take a look at the description box below, there's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos, there's also a link to my website if you want to book a private reading. There are a lot of scammers out there, so if you want to book a private reading with me, the only way you're going to get one is if you come to my website, gentvtarot.com. It's in the description box below there, if you can't be bothered to type it in, just follow the link, that's the only way. If I come to you, that's not me, that's a scammer, okay my loves? Don't fall for it. Taurus. What does Taurus need to know right now? Timeless. You crazy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you crazy ass. What, are you, what is going on here? This could be, take it how it resonates, all right? Cross watches and all of that. But to who it may concern, to whom it may concern, we've got a overall vibe of uh, that one that got away and letting them get away. Actually freaking letting them get away. You're like, I can't do anything about it. I want, but can't. Ah! Ah! And you don't want them to get away, but you can't do anything about it. So, in the not wanting to get them away, every now and then you're just gonna throw a little, just a little fish hook. Just to reel them back in a little bit. Just to, and then let them fly again. Just to, and I'm going, oh, just bring them back in a little bit. Never fully catching them. So that's what's been going on. Please do tell me in the comments below what's going on. I'm, I, this is what I'm seeing. You know me, I say it how I see it. So what do you need to know right now? We've got the eight of wands. Now this is very fast very quick movement things are moving real quick here Pew. these could be cupid's arrows flying at you it could be travel it could be swift fast quick communication between you and someone else so let's take, take a look at that what is that all about a quest i just heard mixed signals here I, I'm, I'm, I'm baffled <laughs> what's going on Taurus so we've got this swift fast communication or Cupid's arrows or or travel or so that's 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 coming that's that's what you need to know right now that's what's, what's going on but like you know things are confusing right now you know like I don't know. I've got decisions I need to make. Do I want to do this? Do I want to do that? It's coming. It's coming fast. I just don't know what to do about it. So there's that going on, which is confusing. And I don't even know how to vocalize that. I don't even know if I've actually articulated what 
what's going on, what, what I'm seeing here. Then on the other side here, we've got an ending that's happening. We've got the death card. We've got you walking away from something. We've got to walk away from, you made a bad decision. What's this bad decision? This is just it. This is... Oh God, it's like a map. I'm seeing it like a map. So you've got this one that got away that you keep trying to reel in. I don't feel like you're kind of trying to move towards this person though. I feel like what happened was you sort of fell for this person <clears throat> and they fell for you like throat chakra was going nah nah girl no i'm not having it so communication was very one-sided and uh you wanted to give it back that's the thing this is the problem. You wanted to give this communication back. You wanted to. It was too confusing for you. I feel like you were triggered. I feel like oh, I can't do this. I feel like you ended it and walked away. But you don't want to. I was mapping it out. You actually don't want to and you're going further away from what you want. This is how I'm seeing the map. You're like Indiana Jones, like, in the, and the, and the, the red line on the map, going further and further away from what you actually want, which is back here, which is them. Tell me more about what you need to know right now. This person triggered you. You've been hurt in the past by somebody, somebody you really loved. I'm not seeing this person. They're irrelevant now. I don't think that you could care less about what happened to that person. They're done, but you loved them at some point in your life and they freaking hurt you so bad. Broke you. Completely. You don't even care. It's like completely irrelevant. It doesn't matter. It's almost like it happened to someone else. But it did happen to you. And you are never going to let somebody actually have that kind of power over you again. And you could see it coming with this person. You could. This triggered you. You're like, I am falling very much in love with this person. And they could hurt me. So I see you moving further and further away from it. But you want it kind of keep them there because they're that one that got away so every now and then you reel them back in a little bit don't go don't move on and be happy without me Just stay there where I know that you're there and I can keep looking at you and feeling like an idiot for letting you go and getting overwhelmed and triggered by you and How would it work? This is what you're thinking. How would it work with them? How would it work? There's no way. It's like, there's too many huge differences between you. And yet when you're standing in front of this person, you see this little infinity symbol. That's them, that's you. You're that lion there getting like, They make you feel good. They make you feel strong and powerful, yeah? When you're right there with them. They make you feel like 
nurtured and adored and important. They make you feel like this, like a fool. Just like, wee, let's go for it. And then you get triggered and you're like, I can't be good to run away. Must run away. I can't, I can't let somebody have that kind of power over me again. Be honest with yourself. Did that other person really make you feel like this though? Was it even close? Oh, it's bigger, is it? You love them bigger, more. So now you're like, oh, well, definitely not then. <laughs> no. That person did a dirty on you, didn't they? I feel like uh, I'm seeing like, remember that I saw Netflix Dirty John or something where they, they, they kind of take everything from you in a sort of like, they scam you, they, they take everything from you. Take your money, take your home. Take your friends, <laughs> take everything from you. You're left with nothing. It really did a number on you. That's not this person though. Anything else right now? That's what she needs to know right now. It's just making you unhappy. What you're doing, getting triggered and not doing anything about it, not, you know, not allowing the flow of the universe to flow and fighting it. It's not making you happy. But hey, you know, you're not, you know, letting someone else in. So that's, that's cool, right? You know, you're not getting your heart broken again. Oh wait, but you are, yeah. You're kind of breaking your own heart there. They're, they're not doing it. Unless they start seeing someone else because you, you know, given up on them and you keep reeling them in and when you switch a light switch on and off, the fuse goes, right? All right, what's coming up in the near future? Sorry, sorry. I'm roasting you, I am. This is what I do. <laughs> this, is, this is my job to roast you. Oh, what's that? Mm. It's the wrong way around. So what's coming up in the near future? Everything's way out of balance now. Everything is so out of balance. You're not uh, living up to your potential in any aspect of your life, work. You know why? Because you're moving against the flow of the universe. <laughs> you're not following your... You're following this and this is saying, no, 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 no. Logic is saying, no, 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 no. Nope, not gonna get hurt again. You're not following your intuition, your gut. Which is saying, you could be happy with this person. Yeah, but they live so far away from me, it wouldn't work. Where, where would we live? How, how could we date? Things kind of work out, right? If they're supposed to be. If it's meant to be, it'll just kind of work out somehow, right? There'll be some way. Just saying. Oh, there's a big age difference between us. If there is, then there is. And somehow it'll work itself out. And maybe, just maybe, nobody will care. Because, you know, this isn't the 50s. <laughs> in the 20th century for Christ's sakes
I'm just trying to see. I just I'm seeing that your entire structure is now way out of balance because you're not going with the flow of the universe. And if you were to just go with the flow of the universe, you'd be happy and harmonious. But you're being stubborn and going, no, no, I was hurt by somebody completely different, not this person at all. So no. Best you can hope for. Loneliness, sadness. Uh, getting a bunch of cats <laughs> being on your own. Uh, just sort of feeling isolated, feeling like you missed out, feeling like you kind of lost the one thing that actually really meant something to you. Tell me more about this. What you don't know, O oh Taurus, is that as you're punishing yourself in this way, you're also punishing this person. But in punishing this person, they are learning from their mistakes from the past and they're growing and they're healing themselves and they're learning about themselves and their boundaries and what they're willing to accept in a relationship and what they're not willing to accept. And you know what they're not willing to accept? The kind of BS that you're throwing their way. So, you know, the more you push this person away, what you're kind of looking at is, I guess what you're trying to attain here is losing them because you don't want to get hurt. And this person is growing and learning that maybe they're just not that emotionally insecure anymore. Whereas perhaps in the past they were. I don't see either of you being able to move on from each other though. This is carrying a lot of baggage, this one. This is not being able to move on and carrying a lot of baggage. And I don't know. I do see you coming to your senses at some point. You've, you know, kind of been through it. I'm not seeing other people in your life, that's the thing. I don't, <clears throat> I don't see you kind of not going for this because you're in another relationship. I mean, you could be, but you know how irrelevant that person is. They're not even in the reading. They're not even showing up. It's like, it's really like this kid dressed like Han Solo. Just the, the solo, like maybe you're on your own. I watched, what was it? I, I watched Return of the Jedi two days ago with my daughter. Yeah, you know, like in the beginning where the Words are scrolling, one, one, you know, in a galaxy far, far away. Actually, I, I made my daughter sit on my lap and I held on to her and I was like <laughs> crying for <laughs> bits the whole time. Like, she's like playing Minecraft on her iPad going, oh, God's sake, woman. <laughs> I'm like, I'm here with my baby watching her turn and head high. And the music, and like, oh my God, it was lovely. If only she'd have been in the moment with me. But anyway, I digress. We're, we're pals here. I'm just, you know, telling what's going on in my life. And another bit of gossip. I kind of started dating somebody. And uh, I'm not dating them anymore. I took it seriously. I sent a message to my twin flame. And to the other kind of guy that I was sort of talking to. And uh, said, look, sorry, got to end it. I'm not going to talk to you anymore. I'm starting to see somebody and I'm going to take it seriously. And then a week later, 
Yeah, it didn't work out. But I tried. I'm not going to talk to my twin flame though. I'm not going to say, oh, yeah, sorry, I made a mistake. Got to drop it, innit? Got to let it go. Let's take a look at them. They're sort of... I can't get it. There's a sort of volatile energy around this person in question now. What is that? It, it's... I think that perhaps this person might have taken any crap you dealt to them in the past and accepted it. I sort of feel like now they are setting their boundaries and they are setting them solid. There's no getting past these boundaries anymore. This person means what they're saying. And I think if you try and reel this person in again, you're going to be unpleasantly surprised at their reaction. Because I don't think they're going to take it. They've been growing in this time. They've been learning. I don't think they're ever going to move on from you. This person's in love with you. I see that very clearly. But taking your crap... reeling them back in but not all the way just enough so you can see where they are there you are okay i'm gonna leave you there now they're not gonna take any of that if you're gonna try and reel this person back in it's gonna have to be something solid All right, we're going to read the outcome. We've got the Seven of Swords in reverse. I'm going to read this, then uh, I'm going to read some Oracle cards, and then after that I'm going to take it and see extended. I'm going to ask about this person for you. I can see this person in love with you, but we'll ask, how do they really truly feel about you? Where are you in their heart space? What are their intentions towards you? What do they want to say to you? And some guidance from the universe. Some Oracle cards as well. Heck, why not? Well, let's read this Seven of Swords here. Why is the Seven of Swords in reverse here for the outcome? That's sort of a breaking free kind of feeling. Release. Is that you? Breaking free of fighting against the tide? Yeah. Oh. All right. So, yeah, you're going to break free. Fight against... You're not going to fight anymore. You're going to just go with the flow of the universe and... Stop fighting. Go towards what you really want, which is this person. Trouble is, they've met somebody else already. So how are you going to get them? Because what you're going to have to come with is something solid. A real offer of love. But you can't see how to make that work because there's something like uh, cultural differences, age difference, distance. There's something that makes it very difficult for you to be with this person. So you're going to have to come with something major solid for them to go, oh, okay. I'm looking then, I'm paying attention, because otherwise they're like, look, I gave you my all, you weren't having anything to do with me, so I've moved on. Okay, let's take a look. What does the Oracle card say? Oh my God, don't let your past hold you back. Thank you. Thank you very much. Here we go. 
And your love lyric for the day is... Oh, very appropriate. I'd like to slow the spin I'm in. The way he sings this part in this song is like full of pain and yearning and sorrow and oh my god his voice is just everything and uh, it's actually the anniversary of his death today well if you know anything truly truly about him it was actually yesterday he died at sort of midnight on the third but they kind of logged it as the fourth so anyway I'll just wake me up by the cars listen to that song wake me up by the cars i like to slow the spin on it listen to his voice when he sings it it's just so, so full of emotion and i see that you're spinning out you're spinning and stop fighting just go with the flow don't let your past hold you back okay don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you want to watch the extended, take a look at the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon. You'll find the video there.